Hi, I'm Josh Pies, and I am the mentor coordinator in BNI Wealth Builders. We're in Central Florida. This video is selfishly, I'm actually doing this specifically for my chapter so that I can help incoming members learn how to use the app. But it occurred to us in leadership that this might be valuable for all the chapters. So I'm officially recording this in our studio here. My business is C47 Film Associates. We're a video production company uh, and we're a digital marketing agency here in Central Florida. And so this is where we do our uh, upcoming podcast, which is Bootstrapped Unicorns. It's an entrepreneurship po podcast. I do hope you'll listen. Um, but we just we're leveraging this tool so that we can help all of the chapters learn a little bit about the app. So uh, we'll start with just identifying that the BNI app is BNI Connect. And let me open that on my phone screen. And let's just look at the home screen for a second here. So at the top of the page, we know that it's my app because there's my name and my chapter. It says that I'm an active member. And the due date for my renewal is prominently displayed at the top of the screen. Now, I'm going to point out briefly, but we're not going to spend much time in here. If I hit the arrow next to my name, the right hand arrow, it brings me into an area where I can spend a lot of time working on either sharing my profile or updating my business information, my address, contact information. The one that I guess I'll point out that's maybe the most important to me is my bio. The reason why my bio is important is that, you know, people will come from other regions and look for trusted BNI peers when they need something out of their home area. And if you don't have my bio fill, filled out, at least in the most basic, you don't have a chance at getting that new business. So it's important that you go ahead and take the five minutes that it would take to fill out your bio so that you're prepared to give other people the opportunity to work with someone like you. And if you haven't noticed, BNI, there's a certain ethos and a certain type of person, a real quality person that believes in the BNI method and the way of existing, this referral model we have. So it's really a great referral source out of the area that we can find trusted people. It's much safer than just going to some Google search when you're out of the area. So this is a real construct that we see happen for our members in our group, and I'm sure maybe you've run into it as well. Below that, you see next meeting. That's an important one. Next meeting not only has the basic details of, yeah, okay, we're meeting next Wednesday as usual, and we're meeting in person, um, and it's exciting. We see thank you for closed business already climbing. And interestingly enough, it says we have no speakers and no visitors next week. It just so happens I'm recording this at a time where next week is our annual meeting, and we'll be listening um, using Zoom to the regional leadership and the national leadership so that we can learn some new things and help propel our understanding of how to do this right. But let's assume that there would be a normal meeting next week. There's an eyeball next to the next meeting title. I'm going to click on that. That opens up where I can go find the basic information. And the most important thing for me here is the print summary. So I'm going to click on print summary. It's going to take a moment and it's going to create a page that I can print on my printer. This here is great information. If your chapter happens to be one of those that does stand up and report on one-to-ones and, and chapter education units, which we're technically not supposed to do during the I have portion, this is where you would find it. But if you know you have a couple referrals logged, those will show up in those squares too. Those are the ones that you're supposed to cut out and put in the physical basket as a representation of the referrals that you're passing to your peers and the business that could be happening. I was asked last week in, me in the meeting why we do that. And a new member was like, why would we print anything out? We're all digital now. The reason we do that is because it's an actual reminder to each other that we're active, but also to the visitors who are coming in, it's immediate evidence that we are a high quality chapter actually doing the work. Saying we do it doesn't look as powerful as that visual representation that we are actually passing referrals. That's, in my opinion, why we still have that practice, and it's important. So I encourage you to go use that eyeball to print out your details so you can put your referrals in the quote-unquote basket and however your group is doing that. Now, under this week's slips, it's another way to go look at your current activity. So I'm going to hit the eyeball next to that. Whoop, I double-tapped it, so now I need to go back in. So I can tell you that I've had 
one uh, meeting with Victor and one meeting with Michael this week. Those are my two one-to-ones. And I've also had seven CEUs because I'm always listening to BNI podcasts and bettering myself in that way. But also, I could maybe register a referral. That is the reason why we're all together, is it not? So why don't we create a referral together and you'll see how this all changes. So next to the zero referrals that I have, I'm going to hit that plus button. And now I'm in the referral slip section. So I'm going to give a referral to Aaron Kassler. Who's Aaron? He's actually the president of our chapter. He'll also understand when I send this really crazy sounding referral what I'm doing because he knows how I roll. So I'm going to tell Aaron that it's an outside referral type. This is not somebody inside the chapter. It's not that I need the help or somebody within our chapter needs it. This is an outside referral. And I'm just going to say that I gave them Aaron's card. The referral is to Elon Musk. Aaron is a financial advisor and would love to manage Mr. Musk's portfolio. And I'm going to make sure that it is a fake phone number so Aaron doesn't actually accidentally call it, but we would put a phone number in. And we also have to put Mr. Musk's email in, which since I don't know it, again, we're pretending, but we need to put quality contact information in. So we're, I'm assuming it's probably something like Musk is the man at spacex.com. It's, it's probably an email he has. And we're going to assume that there's no address that's relevant right here. And then I'm going to put in the comments, testing for mentor coordinator work. So now he knows that this is clearly a fake referral. And what's really fun and I think very important is how hot this referral is. Now, if you're in BNI, you know that we don't pass leads, we pass referrals. What's a lead? It's an idea that might turn into something if somebody's got the moxie to make a cold call. Um, I've been given leads in the past and what those are is, oh, I found a business card of a business that's kind of neat, why don't you check it out? It doesn't really help us in the context of BNI. What does help us is referrals, which are much warmer than leads because there's some kind of intel associated. So how hot this referral is, you need to go ahead and register some kind of indication of the heat with which this referral exists. So for instance, if let's say we have a plumber in the group and our plumber can solve bath leak problems and my sister-in-law's home has a massive leak that is flooding right now, you better believe that is a super hot referral. And not only will I be calling my sister-in-law to expect a phone call from the plumber, but I'll also be calling the plumber and saying, call Stacy right now. She needs help. And then after the fact, I'll probably load this into the referral database and register it as super hot because it was urgent and not only urgent, but both parties were completely aware of the referral that was taking place because I handled it. That is actually what a hot referral is. It's the level of preparation that you put into the system in order to allow for that referral to exist. If you're not going to do heavy lifting, maybe it's just a casual email like, hey, you two should meet. I think there's something here. That's a colder version of a referral, and that's a one. So I don't know Mr. Musk, but I'm assuming that I have some reason to make this connection. Maybe I already emailed Elon and I got a confirmation that he read it. So I'm going to let Aaron know that this is a lower tier referral. So you notice that I just went up and I now have one referral. So let's go hit that eyeball again. The eyeball shows me that, yes, it's registered and I could go and click on those and verify that I've, I'm seeing what I want to see. But the print button there is going to go ahead and open up again the printable slips. And if you notice now, I have a fourth one in here. It's the upper right that says Josh Pies gave Aaron Kassler a referral to Elon Musk. And it has that, that temperature gauge so that we know it's a one. That's what I would cut out and put in the basket. And I would like you to believe that you're obligated to cut those out and bring them to your meeting. Because every time you add a new member to your chapter, statistically, the possibility that each member business gets new revenue is real. 
and I don't have the statistics in front of me, but I've heard things that like over 30 members, every every new member brings 4,000 and thank you for closed business. And then I guess over 40 members, I think it was 8,000 per member on average. If those are even remotely true, you wowing visitors with your commitment and your diligence and that physical representation of a referral means that you might get that new member and that new member's very presence can mean money for you because the system works. So I think you owe it to yourself and your peers to go ahead and kind of play this game. So now below that, I have fun with this section. It's really nice for me to gauge where I'm at and where I've been. And then also goal set. So for instance, in the last 12 months, I know I've had 115 one-to-ones. You're supposed to have an average of one per week. I'm clearly crushing that because over the last 26 weeks, I've had 100. Oh, actually, this is 12 months. Let's go to six months. Okay. Over the last 26 weeks, I've had 66 one-to-ones. My referrals handed out. I'm supposed to have an average of one a week as well if I can. New member, please don't panic. The referrals will come as you start figuring it out. Some of this is an awareness and a mindset thing. You'll probably be slow to referral or refer early on. And then you'll start that locomotive will start moving and, and you'll get it going. So as you get into the mode, those will come. Don't panic. There's a lot of grace for new members. Um, and I've research, received 27 referrals in the last six months. Notice I've given more than I've gotten. And I'm great with that. Givers truly gain. And I've been at this game personally in Central Florida for five years and out of the area even longer. And this is something that I subscribe to because I know it works and it'll work for you. Um, thank you for closed business. I've had over $350,000 in thank you for closed business. Now to remind you, to be clear, that's business I gave to other people. They made that money. My referrals panned out and turned into over 350,000 in new business. Now, my business, we haven't been crushing it in the last six months here. We've only got about 20,000 in new business or in, in closed business over the last six months, specifically from BNI. That's perfectly all right. What you'll find with higher ticket businesses that are you know fewer transactions is it can take time to get some of those bigger wins. And there's seasons, there's ebb and there's flow. Know that you will find an understanding of how to understand your place in this system and your sales cycles and where it's at. Don't worry if your thank you for closed business that you are receiving, your revenue received, is low for starters. Commit, keep with the process. It pays off over time. Now, visitors. I've only had two visitors in the last six months, and we're supposed to try to have one a month. I'll admit it's one of the hardest things to do not the inviting part so much as finding the people that you'd really want to be in your chapter. That's my personal struggle, to be honest. But think of it this way. And I got a new perspective the other day when I was listening to um, Carmelo Bellardo III, who is our education coordinator. He was reminding us that presence in our chapter, even for one day, is a gift to other people because we are serious networkers. And bringing somebody in, even if they just see it as a networking event where they get to hand out their business cards, because we're so serious about it as BNI members who have devoted time and resources to it, they're going to be the beneficiaries of a great time of networking. That's a gift. And it's changed my mindset a little bit. And hopefully it'll help you see inviting as an opportunity for the other person and know that some of those opportunities will click and become new members, which is always, again, an opportunity for new revenue for all of us. And CEUs, finally, I've had 67 CEUs over the last uh, six months. You're supposed to have an average of, I think, I think it's like four or five a month. I think it's maybe one a week. So if you are an avid listener to the podcast, Dr. Meisner's podcast is a great one. Um, the uh, BNI Power of One podcast with Tim Roberts is also a great one. They're usually very short. I listened to two today, seven minutes in one, nine minutes in the other. Those each will count as a CEU. Continuing education units, for some reason, there's a misnomer that people think they each take an hour. So an hour's reading a book is one CEU. Maybe if that's the standard you want to subscribe to, that's fine. But after five, six, seven podcasts in a week that have given me great new ideas and clarity and inspiration, I know my job's done for that week to become better educated. And I'm logging every new podcast, every big idea is its own individual CEU. 
to me, it's about your commitment to your presence in this chapter. It's a commitment to you and it's a commitment to your peers. This is the BNI app in a nutshell. There's more to it. Um, you will learn it over time. But as a new member, you've got the basic primer to get going fast. So go to the app store and find it. And we're, I'm going to show you the image of the app again. Here it's the BNI Connect. It's got the classic BNI Burgundy background. You can uh, let's see if I can highlight it a little bit better for you here. There it is right at the top of my screen next to uh, my Google Maps icon. And so that is the BNI Connect app. It's free as long as you are a member in BNI. You can have it and use it. Use it liberally. Um, there is a website called BNI uh, Connect online that you can go to and do basically all of these same same things. So if you're a desktop person, it looks very similar. But I think most of us are uh, our phone people at this point. So use it in good health. If you have questions about this, your BNI mentor coordinator in your chapter likely is a champion at this. And the great, you know, director consultants in BNI all have a great bead on how this works. I don't want to take their opportunity to network with you. But if for some reason you feel more comfortable reaching out to me, again, I'm Josh Pies. My company is C47 Films, and I'm here in Central Florida in BNI Wealth Builders. We're an outstanding chapter with great people in it. And I'm certainly willing to sow some time into your success. Uh, we can call it a one-to-one, -one and we can actually meet, and I can show you how to use this. Or if you just need a quick tip, send a message through uh, YouTube or reach out to us. Go to c47films.com or visit bootstrappedunicorns.com. In fact, I'll go so far as to say, please go and subscribe to our podcast that releases in September of 2023, as well as go find us on YouTube, which is also releasing September 2023. It's bootstrappedunicorns.com. Bootstrapped Unicorns is the podcast. It's for entrepreneurs, by entrepreneurs, and we're here to help you grow.